Hey, welcome back guys, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new COC episode and we are of course continuing our push up into that Legends League. We are currently sitting at a brand new personal best, 4,257 trophies. Now we have basically been bullying our way up into the Legends League this last couple of hours and we have some awesome three star attacks to show you. Now just before we do, I thought I would show you this replay which we've done moments ago and check it out. This has got to be one of the weirdest bases I have ever seen. It's pretty much like a minefield but check the loot guys over 600k elixir and gold and almost 7,000 dark elixir so the army we're using is pretty standard for the titans league i'm sure many of you have seen it before bowlers healers giants and of course some other couple of troops so we're using two rage spells a free spell and i've decided to take on this side of the base draw out that cc and hopefully we can get as much of the loot as possible now i have no idea what army i would use to take on a base like this if you had one choice to use an army what would it be what army would you use to take on this base? Would you use all max miners? I've got a feeling they could do quite a good job. Maybe you would use dragons or maybe you'd use bowlers. Let me know down below in that comment section. Do not forget also guys, we've just started a brand new giveaway for 650,000 subscribers. Now there is only going to be one winner and it's for $250. So if you want the chance to win, leave a like on this episode to show some support to the channel. Subscribe to this channel right now to stay up to date with the giveaways and the winners. Now to enter, there is a link in the description box. Hit the link and hit enter. You will be entered into the giveaway. And of course, it will be drawn live as soon as we hit 650,000 subs. So the rest of the troops are making their way around on the right hand side. You can see the bowlers absolutely trashing through loads of those defenses, loads of those other objects. But unfortunately, we are not going to be able to make our way down towards that bottom where that dark elixir storage is. And where over 5,000 Dark Elixir is sitting. I completely, you know, just attacked the base in the worst way possible. Messed up the entire raid. And unfortunately, we are going to leave thousands of Dark Elixirs sitting inside of this base. So the last few remaining troops are starting to die out. The Queen is going. The Grand Warden, I think, is already dead. Nope, there he goes. He's about to get killed by the Queen. The Defending Queen slays him. Our Queen's still up and alive, but she's been targeted by that Eagle Artillery. And it is about time that she was taken out. So the last few bowlers have just been wiped out, guys. The queen is all that's left, as I said. And she goes down. Unfortunately, we didn't even get a single shot off onto that dark elixir. But we still got, you know, a decent amount of loot. And, of course, a couple of trophies. So now that we got that out of the way, it is time to start our bullying. We are about to do a two to four hour session where we are going to non-stop bully Town Hall 10s and rush Town Hall 11s. We're going to try and pick up as many trophies as we can. So make sure you stay tuned. There is going to be two episodes today covering this we're gonna see if we can get 4500 trophies as fast as we can now every single one of the attacks is going to be a three star we're gonna be using the same strategy until it lets us down guys 16 bowlers 10 giants a couple of healers and of course nine harry potters a couple of wall breakers two rage spells one free spell and the hero so let's see what we can do against these town hall 10 bases obviously there is no eagle artillery inside of this which means it's gonna make it a lot easier for me also they only have level 3 Inferno Towers. Now they got some defending giants inside of the CC. It's perfect. We've got some bowlers going to the right. We got a couple of bowlers going to the left. The rest of the troops have gone into the center. Taking out every single one of those main defenses. And it looks like this base is about to fall to General Tony. So what I want to know is, what I want to know is, the game itself obviously hasn't really had a major update in a good, uh, what is it, a good couple of months now I believe. I know we just had a level 8 giant and of course that new level 14 archer tower, but that only affected Town Hall 11 and 95% of the players are Town Hall 10 and below. So what I want to know is, what is the one thing that is really keeping you guys interested in the game? I want to know that. Let me know down below in that comment section. Is it war? Is it trophy pushing? Is it farming? And I also want to know what is your current trophy record? What is the most amount of trophies you have ever been at inside a COC? And I also want to know if you've had higher trophies than me. So obviously we're currently at 4,257. Is there anyone that watches my videos that has a higher trophy count or higher trophy record? Let me know, guys. If you do, you get a massive thumbs up. So you can see the rest of the troops were up to 97%. The Grand Warden, the Queen's still alive. A couple of bowlers. There goes the Queen's ability. She's going to take out that final army camp. And we've secured ourselves the first triple star. And of course, we have successfully bullied an opponent. So here we go, straight back into another raid, and we are going up against another Town Hall 10. Now, we are finding quite a few Town Hall 10 bases, and the weird thing about it is the Town Hall 10 bases actually have more loot than the Town Hall 11s. It's, it's quite strange. I'm not really sure how it works because they only have 
I don't think they have maxed out storages, do they? So here we go, we've dropped in the entire army from the left hand side. Giants followed by wall breakers, followed by Mr. Potter. And it looks like we are of course gonna be getting ourselves the second three star in a row using the bowler healer attack strategy. Check out that dark elixir as well. The storage looks pretty damn full, but there's not actually that much inside of it. So we're gonna be dropping the second rage spell straight into the center, dropping the free spell on that multi-target inferno tower. Hopefully, nope, we didn't even need it really. So the, uh, the bowl is in the center, completely destroying the base. Free spell being dropped on the wizard tower, but that gets taken out by splash damage also. The beautiful thing about these bowlers is if you get them into the center of a base and there are many walls surrounding them, they're going to target the walls. And then once they've targeted the walls, they're actually going to do splash damage to the defenses behind the wall. So it works out pretty well. Obviously, the bowlers are a very unique troop that have a very diverse, you know, kind of feature to them. And because of that, they do such an amazing job. But I'm definitely thinking that they are going to get nerfed in the next update. I've got a feeling they are going to get nerfed quite heavily. And uh, Supercell may try and bring a couple of other troops into the game just to kind of change up the, uh, the attack strategies, which we all use. And of course, that is going to be absolutely awesome. I cannot wait for the next update. Make sure you do stay tuned and subscribe to this channel, guys, because I believe we're actually one of the last channels that honestly post, you know, regular COC content. I mean, all the big guys... They just kind of seem to have left the game now. Don't really enjoy it much anymore. However, I do still enjoy it a lot more than Clash Royale, of course. And uh, I'm trying to get a maxed out Town Hall 11. And I'm not going to stop until we do get there. We've currently done, I think, 115 of those level 10 walls. So we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. We almost have two level 30 heroes as well. So obviously, we still have a small way to go. So we ended up getting our second triple star. And of course, we are not stopping. We are not stopping the bullying. Let me know if I'm a bully. Tony is a bully. Hashtag Tony is a bully. So here comes another Town Hall 10 bases. I know they're just chucking Town Hall 10s at me. I wonder how high in trophies we can go. Before we just completely stop seeing Town Hall 10s, I reckon we're going to be reaching, you know, maybe 46, 4700 trophies before we stop seeing Town Hall 10s altogether. But you know what? Right now I'm finding Town Hall 10s one in every, you know, five, maybe one in every six bases. And as I said, for some reason, the Town Hall 10s have a lot more gold elixir. Maybe not dark elixir, but definitely have usually a lot more gold and elixir than the standard Town Hall 11s. And of course, they're easier to destroy because the defenses are uh, a lower level and they don't even have an eagle artillery or, uh, you know, some like higher level bombs and traps and stuff like that. So the Town Hall 11s are actually really proving to be in my favor right now. And they're also decent trophy offers. So I can't complain. We are certainly pushing up in trophies pretty quickly whilst maxing out the base at the exact same time. Do you think I'm going to be able to hit the Legends League? I think I will be, guys. I think I'll be within the Legends League. You know, honestly, within the next week, I reckon we could be there maybe by next Friday, the Friday coming. So that gives us, what, maybe five, six days to climb another 700-ish trophies. Not really too hard considering that the bowlers, they're just so damn good right now. They are so damn good. And I don't think there is honestly anything that's going to be able to stop me or any of you guys if you are Town Hall 11. Obviously, the heroes only level 27, level 30, and level 9 could maybe hinder my progress, but right now it seems like it's not causing any problems whatsoever. So we are of course about to get ourselves into a live attack using the same strategy. Now I was going to search for a base which was going to have a load of loot and a load of trophies, but it just takes so damn long and this is actually a live recording and obviously I don't want to, you know, record for an hour because then the, uh, the render will take so damn long to actually process. So I've decided to attack this base using the strategy. Now before we do end this episode, I have a question to ask you guys. Obviously the games are are slowly starting to, I'm not going to lie guys, they're slowly starting to, you know, dwindle away. Clash of Clans, even Clash Royale doesn't really seem too popular these days. And I was wondering if you do want to see some other games on the channel, more like, you know, Pokemon Go. I could play some more Pokemon Go on the channel. So if you want to see that, all you need to do guys, leave a like and of course, let me know down below in that comment section. I know I've told you guys to comment a lot on this episode, but honestly, just let me know if there's anything you want to see. Maybe you want to see some Slither. Although even that game's kind of, you know, dying off a bit. I'm sure there will be some great new mobile games and even console games coming up around the Christmas period. Maybe even January slash February next year. And we will cover some of the most awesome games out there, guys. So if you want to see any games whatsoever, as I said, Pokemon Go, maybe even the new Battlefield, the new Call of Duty. Although I kind of think that that may suck a little bit, but I'm not really too sure. Because it is going into outer space and they've still got the jetpacks. And I really don't like that. Hopefully, though, there will be a new GTA coming out in the next two years. I've heard rumors that there is going to be a GTA coming out in, uh, what is it, 2018. New Grand Theft Auto. 
the greatest game ever made. So there is the live attack just over. And we've got ourselves a star bonus, so that is absolutely awesome. So we are going to prepare our next army. As I said, we are going to do a two to four hour session where I will continue to bully. I'm doing this for you guys. You guys who support my channel, I'm going to hit the Legends League and then we are going to celebrate together. We're going to do a live stream to finish it off. Hopefully we will be hitting that Legends League within a week. So make sure you just stay tuned to the channel. Leave a like down below if you have enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned. There will be a second one in a few hours time, guys. Subscribe for more. Have a great day. Peace out.